Hello, I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is My Sans 3 Minutes Max. In previous episodes, we've been talking about the acquisition of RAM and talking about how uh, critically important it is to grab the RAM uh, in, in an image if the machine is on when you discover it. Uh, I do want to talk about a few instances where you might not be grabbing the RAM. Uh, it's often that we get tunnel vision when we start thinking about doing something and I don't want anybody walking away saying you absolutely have to grab the RAM every single time. So let's talk about uh, some of the times when we don't have to grab the RAM. Uh, if you're in a situation where uh, it's you're in a corporation, you're in the enterprise and you're looking into something like potential theft of intellectual property. Uh, we see the same situation happen quite frequently where uh, a suspected employee will leave the company, uh, may or may not take some uh, intellectual property with them, but it doesn't get discovered until two or three months after they've left. And of course, most enterprises do things the same way. They repurpose the computer with a new user. So the new user has been using the machine for two or three months and uh, then they discover they need forensics on the machine. At that point, there's no purpose to grabbing the RAM because the RAM is, uh, has been recycled. The computer's been started, uh, restarted uh, more than once since the suspected activity. So what could possibly be in the RAM? Well, of course, like everything in computing, there are conditions. If it is suspected that potentially the, uh, um, the user had left behind some kind of code on the machine, that might give them remote access, well then it might be handy to have the RAM. Another reason that you might not grab the RAM, you get to the machine and you see something happening on the screen that is causing data to be trashed, mass deletion, something like that. Uh, it's going to do more damage to the data on the computer to leave it running. In a case like that, you pull the cord. Now people say, ask about ransomware. Um, unless you can see the ransomware happening, which typically you can't, You'll never know until you're getting the error message or the uh, ransomware message that you've been hit by ransomware. Uh, and of course, probably the most important reason is life safety. If you're at the scene and there's something going on, I don't know, the building is burning, somebody's uh, going to beat you up, who knows what it is. If there's any kind of a physical threat, then of course we're not going to bother with the RAM, we're just going to grab and run. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed our series on RAM. Tomorrow we're going to talk about checking for uh, encryption on the drive. So until then, have a great day.